Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger and your Energy Forecaster for today, Friday, October the 4th, 2013. And I thank you for taking time to watch this video, subscribe to it, become a friend and fan on Facebook, and um, spread this high vibration as you feel led, because that's often spirit um, telling you who might need more of what I'm allowing through me to you and to the world. So I'm just acting as a channel, just like this YouTube video acts as a channel to you. So today's the number four, which is a very peaceful, very solid number. I can feel that. It's also our emperor card. Um, he's pretty masculine kind of a guy, so there's a lot of dynamic energy today, even though it's a number four. So it's a good balance is what it feels like. Um, I feel like today's going to be a good day going into the weekend. I haven't added the numbers up, but a number five is definitely going to be a number that moves a lot. So tomorrow will definitely be a different shift. And uh, just keep in mind, like even numbers, two, four, six, eight, are typically, you know, kind of feminine energy, a little more passive, a little more receptive. You know, the odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, a little more dynamic and powerful and moving. Also, you take all the numbers up, October 10, 2013, and you're going to get the number 11. Love that master number. And it is the Justice card. So it's about often bringing things back into balance for me. Balance. And allowing things to be, I don't want to say justified, but allowing justice to kind of prevail, which I think is bringing things back into balance. It's also the number two, which is our High Priestess. We had her energy two days ago on the 2nd of October. And that's uh, very knowledgeable. Um, high wisdom, understanding, which is kind of cool going in line with the um, Justice card because they have similar energies. Um, the High Priestess, a little more feminine. It's almost like I can see her sitting there allowing people to come to her for information where the Justice card is aggressively going out. A, it's a master number. B, it's an odd um, number, so it's more dynamic. So that's our energy for today. Um, interesting moment. I, I tell you, my post, my Team Spirit channel message yesterday was a cool post, and it was a, it was kind of a message given to me after I, I kind of did something at work. But you know, I've been talking about being authentic, being yourself. You know, if you can't be your authentic self, you might need to get out of the relationship, get out of the job, move out of the city, something. If you can't be real, move out of the family. You know, if you can't be true and authentic, um, and I know it's scary at times. And what Spirit kind of showed me yesterday, when I had a moment at work where I basically um, was disagreeing with my boss, and I said, I understand what you're saying, but I disagree with you. I think we're catering to one person um, rather than the masses, and I feel like we as leaders have set in place the rules here. And in fact, I had set the rules in place. My direct boss at that time agreed with me. And here is, um, you know, another leader, what felt like I was being undermined. And, you know, I, I set my ego aside and I pretty much said, we've already settled this. It's already been done. And, and she started coming back at me and I said, you're not hearing me. You're my boss. I'm okay if that's what you want to do. I will allow you to set what needs to be done. I'm not that stubborn or that, I don't think I said the word stubborn, but I did just say, you're my boss. Tell me what you want me to do. I told you my opinion. I've expressed it. I think it's wrong what you're going to do, but I will follow through. And, and it was funny because she was like, okay, good. Thank you. And just walked off. And it was like, but the good thing was, and there were two people in the room and both of them just kind of dropped their heads because <laughs> they don't, it's like they don't want to get into it or see it or, you know, they were, I don't know, uncomfortable. But my point was, is I walked away and I felt I was authentic. I was real. I was not mean or nasty or aggressive. You know, I, I have been asked to do a job. I was doing it. A direct leader was telling me otherwise. I will follow along. You've been put in your place to, to take care of things, and I will do what I need to do. So it was just a very interesting moment, but I walked away feeling very good. I had no stress over it, no worry of, you know, oh, I just back talked my boss. Um, I just realized I spoke my true self. I wasn't mean or nasty. And it just, it felt a empowering and um, B just I, it, I, I was authentic and that was probably the, just the result of how I felt afterwards so at the moment I was a little worried of what I was saying but afterwards it was good so coming back to speaking your truth being authentic very very important right now um, in the world uh, you know there's this feeling of old school versus new school and some of the old school ways of thinking are you just just do what you're told and that's it and and the new school way are you know it's very collaborative from the top of business down to the very bottom 
And the wonderful thing was is one leader up allowed us all to sit down minus the two leaders and come up with a dream um, organizational chart for our company. And it was really neat how the, the main managers and leaders got together because we were a team. And we, she said, think of your utopia perfect chart and then we'll go and do a realistic one. Well, we couldn't even do that because we're such realists and we've been thinking about it so much. We, we built almost like probably, I believe, exactly what's going to happen. Um, so it will be interesting to see um, how that chart plays its way out. Um, but again, it was stepping into my truth, being authentic and feeling good about it afterwards, not second guessing, not questioning, not worrying. So, and that was, uh, it was a powerful moment. So I hope you can find those moments in your life as well. Pulling a card for today, I'm shuffling, I'm shifting them, and card for today is going to be the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, I'll bring that card in. This card is often about creating your own web, um, weaving it, getting caught up in it. Um, it's logical things, it's mental things. Swords are the element air, they're the mind. Um, this one can definitely represent worry. As you can see, she's writhing and frustrating. The interesting thing is, is look around her, there are eight swords around her that she could reach out, use to cut herself down. But she's created that own web, so of course she has the power to get herself out of that web. There's an old saying, if you're outside the US, you may not have heard it, but um, you know, oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. So a lot of times we create and build a web of lies to support our fear um, of whatever we fear. Um, so today, um, hearing spirit, today is the day to cut yourself down out of the web you've created. Um, it might be one little strand at a time for some of you. Or it might be just one giant swoop and you're done. Either rip the Band-Aid off or peel it off slowly. Which is funny because I'd rather rip a Band-Aid off. But changing um, situations, uh, I usually tend to move a little slower with. So cut yourself down out of your web today. There's your overall message. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, back in the groove. If anybody's interested in a reading, check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. I do email readings, YouTube readings, which are cool because they're just like this. I deliver them right to you, private, so only you can read them. One-on-one -on -one phone and Skype sessions all on my website. A couple of virtual lab classes available for you to purchase and learn a little bit more about your intuition. The basics of intuition, also the basics of tarot card and working in intuition, and um, animal communication. That's a very popular one that's been selling. Um, so check that out. And Blog Talk Radio next Wednesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, as well as my next virtual lab class next Tuesday night. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. If you have any questions, email me um, at uh, intuitmessenger at AOL. You can find all that information on my website. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Namaste. Have a good one.